Prove the following identity. Okay, guys, so I would imagine that we can start on the left-hand side. So let's go, um, let's say that we're going to start on the left-hand side. Okay. Now, my advice to you guys is whenever you see a three like that, I'm not saying to the power of three. I'm not saying when it's like this. I'm saying when there's a three X like that. My advice would be change that into X plus 2x okay from my experience that just seems to work quite nicely so like that and like that so what i would then do guys is i would uh, i would use a compound angle so that would become you know the one on your formula sheet that has a cos alpha plus beta well that becomes cos alpha cos beta minus sin alpha sin beta that's the one i'm talking about right now and so that would end up becoming cos minus sin 2x sin x over cos x. Right. Now, from experience, I would not, my advice to you guys is I would not change this one just yet. Why? The reason is, is that that one can turn into three different options. And if you, if you play around with that and you choose the incorrect one, it can end up causing you a lot of wasted time. So we leave that one as long as we can, okay? So we're just gonna leave that one for now. This one, however, if you look on your formula sheet, that is a double angle. And the nice thing about that one is that it can only become one thing. And so we always going to change that one into two sin x cos x. And then there's still a sin x over here. And then at the bottom, we're not going to do anything. Okay. And then I'm going to carry on up at the top here. And so that's going to give us cos 2x. I'm still not going to change that one. And then this part over here, if you look carefully, that's going to become 2 sin squared x cos x. You see, because the sin x and the sin x, that just becomes sin squared x. And then at the bottom, we have cos x. So guys, another common mistake that I do sometimes see here is this cos x. Sometimes students, they just want to cancel these two, for example, but that's not correct. Because as we can see, there are two terms at the top. So you can, you can cancel the cos x at the bottom, uh, but it would go like this. You see? If that was confusing for you, then you can imagine at the top, I can take out a cos x as a common factor. If I take out the cos x at the top as a common factor, then I would be left with cos 2x minus 2 sin squared x over cos x, and then these cancel, okay? And so that gives us cos 2x minus 2 sin squared x. And so what I think we can do now, guys, is if you look at this part here, That part over there, or actually to make life a bit easier for you guys, um, hmm, there's an interesting thing happening here. This thing over here is on your formula sheet somewhere. On your formula sheet, if you look carefully, there is a double angle formula for cos, which goes like this. Okay. Now you can do this next part in multiple different ways, but what I notice is that I've got a minus two sin squared X. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this part by itself. And so what would that be equal to? Well, that will be equal to cos two alpha minus one equals to minus two sin squared alpha. And so what that means is that I can replace this. I can replace that part with cos two alpha minus one cos two alpha minus one. So it's going to become cos two 
um, x plus cos 2x minus 1. Then I can put everything together to become 2 cos squared x, 2 cos 2x minus 1. And so therefore, the left-hand side is the same as the right-hand side.